integrated spaced repetition systems are one of the most requested features for next generation note-taking applications like Obsidian and Rome Research. Hey there, I'm Justin with Effective Remote Work, and today we're going to take a look at an application called RemNote, which has a spaced repetition system built right into it. This is one of the most requested videos that I've had here on this channel, so let's get in and take a first look at RemNote. RemNote is a bullet-oriented note-taking software with a built-in spaced repetition system. There are a couple of items I wanted to let you know of right at the top of this video that I feel set RemNote apart from other softwares in this same space. First and foremost, RemNote is free. It's built by the folks over at MIT. They plan to have a free tier with full feature access available for the full lifespan of this application. And if they do have paid features, you're not going to be required to upgrade to those if when they launch them. Additionally, RemNote states that you own your data 100%. Just because it's a SaaS application doesn't necessarily mean that they're taking ownership over your data because most SaaS applications have these crazy terms of service and privacy policies where it allows them a lot of leverage and leeway to do different things with the data that you're giving them. Most of that is boilerplate to allow for copying between servers and stuff for application uptime and things like that. But there's still a lot of leeway within that that can be a little concerning. There's none of that, to my knowledge, with RemNote. Now let's take a look at how you create a document. To create a document, you can either go up here on the sidebar and click create a new document. You can use Alt N as the keyboard shortcut. You can create a new document with today's date as the title, and you can also add folders to organize those documents. I'm gonna head over here to this button and click new document. Okay, you can add a source here as well as if you're taking notes on a particular book or video if you wanna keep it inside of an individual document. So that's nice. As you can see, this functions essentially like a normal outliner would, something like Dynalist or Workflow. You can just add bullets, type enter and go to the next line. You can indent with tab. Very straightforward to take notes. You can also use slash commands, like if you're familiar with Rome Research or Notion, you can add a lot of stuff in here. You can insert a reference to another rem, which is another bullet. You can insert images, audio, video, YouTube, LaTeX, quotes, code blocks, dates, emojis. And this is where it gets into where I think RemNote is actually quite complex. If you get into the slash menu, there is a ton a ton of options in here. And it's hard to know what to select, it's hard to know what to pick, but you have them available from that slash command. I'm not gonna get into that menu today because there's a ton of options in there, like I said. One thing I do wanna show you though is how to create spaced repetition cards. And that is actually fairly easy. So here's a concept that I wanna learn. To create a card, this is the name of the card is what I'm gonna create here first. All I'm gonna do after that is add two colons. So everything in bold there is the name of the card, and then I'm going to explain. Okay, so I have a card created here. We've got the name here as a concept, two colons, and then explaining the concept. So when you go through your queue, You'll, if you're practicing forwards, and here's a distinction that we'll get into in just a second, but if you're practicing forwards, you'll get, here's a concept, and then you can work to remember how you explain the concept and then rate that in the queue. So let's go do that now. We'll head over to the queue. Okay, so here's the card. And it says, here is a concept, and it gives you the document reference. So I want to remember, oh, I'm explaining the concept. Once I've thought through the answer and I'm trying to recall it, I'll click show answer and there. Here you can um, add a couple of different settings in here, or edit a couple of different settings, and you can actually rate your experience in remembering it. There's a differentiator inside of space repetition here. You can practice these cards forwards or you can practice them backwards. Practicing them forwards gives you the name of the card 
and then when you click show answer, it gives you the explanation. If you practice backwards, it gives you the explanation, and when you click show answer, it gives you the name. There's a couple different ways that you can connect that information together as a result of that, and that's really handy if you're trying to study some in-depth topics and really get an understanding of what goes with what. You can also add your document into an edit queue. You can either edit the document now if you need to make changes to your card, or you can edit it later if you want to queue it up and do it all at one time. After you remember your answer, you want to create a rating, whether you didn't know it, where you kind of knew it, where you know it and you recalled it well, or you accidentally pressed your answer too early and it'll add it to the queue to try again later. So what this does is it triggers this card again at a special time in the spaced repetition algorithm. I'm going to say I know this because I did. And now we're getting the backwards view as we talked about. I'm explaining this concept. Oh, it is something. I can't remember what it is. Oh, yeah, here's a concept. So, well, I didn't know this. So it's going to show it to me again. Uh, here's this concept. OK, I basically got that. And then there you go. You get a fancy an animation when you're all done with it. You can click in the black to get out of that mode. You can head back over to your document as well. What do I think makes RemNote stand apart? Well, as we just walked through, the spaced repetition system is essentially one of its kind. Most people use Anki for something like this, but this is built right into the note taking software. So if you're needing to use a spaced repetition system on a very regular basis, RemNote might be a great software for you to take a look at. Also, it's got very nice uh, workflowy and dynalist like note taking with some Rome research esque flair with the slash menu and the ability to link between different bullets and the like. That's really helpful if you want to get a map of concepts together. One thing that RemNote is lacking is a knowledge graph. I don't know if that's on their roadmap, but they are iterating on the software at a fairly quick pace. What's not so great about RemNote? Well, in my opinion, it feels so gigantically complex when you first get into the application. The user interface is simple and there's not a lot of stuff here, but there are a ton of features and concepts that you need to get your head around to actually use the software well. It could probably use a little bit of a design update too. The strict white and black text is a little plain and it's a little ugly, but if you're not too concerned about aesthetics, there's a lot of power in this application. So to sum up this video, who is RemNote for? Well, RemNote, I think, is primarily for students. People who need to recall information and learn information on a regular basis, who are living in a note-taking software day in and day out, and they're trying to build knowledge for something, whether that's a test or a specific class that they're in or whatnot. You could also use this if you're a professional who is working and trying to remember lots of information, trying to gather information into one place. But primarily, RemNote is a spaced repetition note-taking application. They're very tightly integrated. The main feature of RemNote is the spaced repetition system. So if that's something that's very core to your needs, RemNote is likely a candidate for you. Do keep in mind that even though it's a SaaS app, you do have full access to your data, but it lives in a database. You can export your data, but if you're trying to get your data into another note-taking software, there may be goofy formatting and goofy syntax that's in there that won't translate over to an application like Obsidian or the Archive or some other plain text note-taking application. That covers RemNote today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe. Tell me in the comments what you liked, what you didn't like. I would love to hear more of what kinds of videos you want to see on this channel as well. Again, my name is Justin with Effective Remote Work. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.